Hey everyone, it's Nana Mongo here with K-Pop Oracles. We're bringing you another K-Pop tour reading. Today's reading is going to be about Nai Nayeon. I think that's how you say the name of TWICE. We're just going to be doing a little personality reading. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see, what is she like? What is Nayeon? 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 Nayeon. I'm going to say Nayeon. What is Nayeon like? Okay, with the three swords in reverse. Okay, which tells me that she's may have gone through a lot of hurdles, a lot of upset, a lot of upheaval in her life. But I feel like she's someone that is able to kind of quickly heal and just move on. Like she's not the type that will like maybe dwell on past issues or past heartaches. What is Neon like? With a seven, uh, not sorry, this is the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands, so she is, she's a hard worker. She works her butt off. She, like she, she's someone who's very responsible, very mature. I feel like she has, like she has a lot of stuff like going on, I feel like, or just, she, she may be a bit of a workaholic too, I feel. What is Neon like? With a page of cups, uh, she is a very romantic individual. Just someone who is, can be really charming as well. Like she is, I feel like she's the type that's like can be really expressive or really open with her emotions. Or like if she finds someone that she likes, like she's not afraid to kind of like tell the other person or say, you know, I like you or I think you're cute kind of deal. So yeah, there's something about her that's very cute, very, very charming. We had the wheel of fortune wheel of fortune yeah it just seems like good like good luck or positivity kind of follows her wherever she goes like she's someone who's blessed with a lot of great fortune a lot of great things and um this card can be also mean traveling as well so i feel like she has a love of traveling a love of adventure like she's always going places like always on i feel like she's just always on the go like never almost never at home like she she has to be somewhere We had an ace of swords. So I think she's she's a very honest individual. Like she is very intelligent as well. Not afraid to kind of say what's on her mind or how she's feeling. Like she she keeps a one hundred. Okay. We had the ninth house ninth house the ninth house uh she is yeah it's kind of ninth house it's associated with the zodiac sign sagittarius so th think of her like as like a sagittarius always traveling always on the go very fun cheerful bubbly person someone who is um whatchamacallit yeah, I also feel like there's something about her that can be really deep as well. Like she can be really like a deep thinker, very philosophical. Uh, just there's yeah, she's a very intelligent soul. We have the Earth, Earth. Okay, so which is affiliate with the zodiac signs? You know, Taurus, Capricorn. And Virgo so she kind of resembles those zodiac signs in some ways like she can be really down to earth as well like really reliable someone that you can depend on for anything she also can be very patient hearted um, it may take sometimes it, like she can be a little uh, it takes her a while to kind of embrace change or it, it takes her a while to kind of um, be open I guess to change We have abano, abanolaka, abonolaka. How do you say this? It says she who battles, 
it says just as fierce commitment like yeah she's a fighter she is she will i feel like she she's very protective of like her you know those who she's really close to so she's a fighter she's not, she's not a she's fearless like she's she was she's a type that wouldn't back it down on anything Where's neon like iris she who changes transformation change enchantment okay yeah so I feel like she's gone through a lot of changes in her life or just got a lot, gone through a lot of transformation. It's just something that like, I feel like it took her a while, I guess, to make some adjustments though. Okay, so what are her strengths? Let's see, what are Neon's strengths? We have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, yes, yeah, she's a very... She's very open with her emotions. She's very kind. She's very loving. She very expressive too. Very romantic. Or neon strings. We have the Empress. Empress. She is she's like a homebody. Like she is I guess someone who is knows how to cook. She's she can clean. She's like a, like a like you know like a wifey material, right? So she um, she's someone that would make a good housewife or uh, a good parental figure to someone. She's the type that would take really good care of others. What are neon strings? We have temperance, very kind, very patient too as well, very understanding of others. I also feel like she's a very responsible person, very very wise, really mature for her age, like she's not reckless or anything. Um, she's not like a heavy drinker or the type that, you know, goes out and like parties hard or anything. Like she's, yeah, very, seems like a very chill, very understanding person. And then with the t Ten of Spears here, Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, so she, very hardworking individual, gives it, gives in like 100% um, or puts in 100% in everything she does like she is she's not lazy okay what are her weaknesses what are Nyon's weaknesses Mango stop surrender frustration okay so she can be the type that kind of gets frustrated easily okay it's a common problem for a lot of people. Surrender comparisons with other people. Okay, surrender comparisons with other people. Okay, maybe she has a tendency to kind of, um, you know, kind of look at what, I guess, what, like the strengths or, or weaknesses of other people. Like sometimes she kind of forgets to, um, focus on herself or has a tendency kind of yeah compares herself with other people maybe she feels that some people are just better than her for some reason or man's weaknesses surrender to setting limits yeah I, I guess it's hard I think she's a type of person that's is it's hard for her to kind of say no to people or set boundaries like it's hard for her like she's so nice <laughs> so it's hard you know it's it, that's a problem that like i know a lot of people have like saying no um you know i i struggle with that too so yeah can be easily fixed okay so let's see what what are some important things what are what are some things that she finds important what's important to Mayon? Three of Cups, friendship, like having a life, you know, having fun or socializing, you know, networking. Okay, 
Five of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, it's important to, for her to kind of have a sense of stability, like financial security. Like she doesn't want to be someone who's kind of broke or left penniless or isolated. Like she wants, it's important for her to kind of have some sort of support system as well. Mochi, mochi. We had the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Yeah, it's important to kind of, I guess, have like abundance or, uh, I guess, yeah, like, I, you know, positivity, good luck, or uh, also travel is important to her as well. important person uh okay self-explanatory yeah like uh, important people i'm guessing like her group mates are important to her and maybe family uh, maybe friends outside the group it's all good positivity having a yeah positive mental attitude is, is important to her Patience as well. Be patient. Oh. Burning bow ritual. Getting rid of crap that doesn't work for you. Getting rid of people, situations. Letting, them, letting that all go. Awaken your authentic self and be true to yourself, or be true to you. So being real, being authentic, being, keeping it 100 is, that, that's important to her. Okay, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm also on Twitter. You can follow me at kpoporacles1 and tumblr kpoporacles.tumblr.com. Till next time, thanks for watching. Bye.